Now here's a car that I made myself. It's got a spot on one side and four spots on the other. But a flick in the corner and you turn it round, there are three spots on one side and six on the other. One, four, turns to three and six. Now you're going to make this card yourself and it's very easy. All you need is a piece of card. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stickers and it doesn't matter what colour they are, a ruler and a pencil. That's all you need. Now, you take the card, and on one side of the card, you're going to put two crosses. I've made them already, but I'll show you how I did make those and how I positioned them. You take a ruler, and you find the centre of the width of the card. Then you make a little mark in the centre of the width. And then you go one and a half centimetres down from the top, make another little mark, and that's your first cross. Now the second cross, you want it right in the very middle of the card, so you take the middle of the width and the middle of the length, and that gives you another cross that will be right in the centre of the card. Now, it's important that you turn this over the right way. You turn it over sideways like this, because you want three crosses down the left hand side. If you turn it over end to end like this then you'll be needing two crosses instead of three on the left hand side. You make sure the blank space is at the bottom. You turn it over lengthwise and you'll have three crosses down the left hand side. Do the centre one first, you find out the centre of the length, make a little mark, and then one and a half centimetres in from the edge, another little mark, and that's your centre cross. Now, you're going to put a cross in each of those four corners, so you do that by coming in one and a half centimetres from the edge and from the top, and you put a little cross, and you do that with all four of those corners. So, you've made a pencil mark of two crosses on this side. One right in the middle and one up the top there. One, two. And on the other side, if you turn it sideways, you've got three on the left hand side. One, two, three. And two on the right hand side. One at either end. Now the reason that you put those crosses is so that you can position these stickers in a nice neat pattern on each side of the card. And that way you get it looking clean and tidy. So you just put a sticker over each of those crosses. Two on one side and five on the other side. Three down the left hand side. One, two three, wherever you've put those crosses, you cover it with a sticker, and two on the right hand side. So you end up with a card that looks like that. Five on one side, and two on the other. Now you've noticed that if you put your, your thumb over one of those spots, it looks like a 1. If you put it over the blank area, it looks like a 3. And on the other side, same thing again. If you cover this spot, it looks like a 4. And if you cover the blank area, it looks like a 6. Now, the way you do it is you start off with your right thumb over the sticker, holding it in your right hand, so it looks like a 1. Now you do exactly the same thing every time. You put your thumb underneath and halfway down the edge and turn the card. It looks like a four. Now you put your thumb underneath this time at the end of the card rather than the side. Estimate where the centre might be and turn the card so it looks like a three. So it's always thumb underneath and turn the card. There's your six thumb underneath, turn the card, and there's a one. And that's all there is to it. So you've got two on one side, five on the other, 
And there's a great way to fool your friends and family.